I, I want to talk about on passive and how they're empowering us all. Uh, and when you start to get this concept of, of being empowered, uh, you're going to start waking up in a really, really good mood. And, and when that happens, all the anxieties, they kind of go away. You just have really, really good deal, good days. This is what on passive is doing. I, I'm Mike Ellis, by the way. Before I get into that, and this won't take long, I, I, I want to talk about a webinar that uh, Marty, Dan, and I were on Friday. It was Friday Night Live with uh, Lynn and Ron. Uh, and it was a really, really good uh, webinar, and, and uh, people said a lot of really nice things about Marty and Dan, and even, even myself, I'm Mike Ellis. Uh, and we really appreciate what they had to say. And, you know, when I, when I think about how I explained my journey from uh, before on passive and then coming into on passive and then getting to know Mr. Mufara, uh, it's, really, it's really simpler than what I explained to people. Uh, for me, it's not that Marty, Dan, and I did anything extraordinary. We, we did not. But we were extraordinarily blessed in Christ, with Christ, through Christ Jesus, God. It really is that simple. And all of the blessings that we have, it's the reason I don't believe in accidents. And when we start to think about on passive and on passive empowering all of us, uh, it's really interesting what's happening with, with Mr. Bufaro, with Unpassive, the structure of Unpassive, what they're doing. Uh, I heard a story from, from Ash Mufara, and, and I forget what webinar it was on, but, but it's something that had a, had a real impact on me, and it, it will be with me forever. And the story goes like this, and, and I won't tell it as well as Ash did, but the story goes like this. Uh, Ash had someone come to him, someone he knew, that asked for money. He needed help. Um, and Ash's thought was, well, if I do this, this is going to open up the floodgates. I, I'm not, I'm not sure what I should do. I'm not sure I should do this. And he went to his, his father and he, he asked his, his dad, what do you think I should do? And his dad, very, very simply, very, very wise. He said, you give if you can give period. There's no question. If you can help, you help. If you can give, you can, you give. And then once you give, and, and obviously this isn't for nefarious things. This is, you know, clean, honest, ethical. But once you give, you forget about it. Whatever you've given becomes that individual's property or whatever it is. And they can do whatever they want with it. You don't worry about that. You don't worry about what individuals are going to do with the gift that you give them. All you worry about is that you can give. And if you give, you do it. It's as simple as that. I think that's the concept that Ash uses with on passive. If I can give, I will give. And you give until you can't give anymore. This is the power of on passive. And when we start to look at the structure of on passive, how it's been developed for those individuals participating with on passive and the empowerment that Mr. Mufar is giving all of us. It, it's extraordinary. Once you understand this, believe me, your days are going to be terrific. You know, when, when I think about on passive and what's coming, um, I was on a, 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 a on that say, well, this was another webinar, but I was listening to the, to the tech team. I think it was a day or, or two days afterwards. And I was listening to our OTEC pros and, 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 and these individuals are terrific, but Colin said something once you get it, you understand how empowered you are. It's a really, really big deal. And, and Collins was talking about uh, competition, um, our competition as we come into the market. And he was talking about companies that, uh, that would look at Unpassive as we come into the marketplace. And he said, you know, these companies, they're happy until they're not. And, and what that means is these, these companies are, are really, really happy where they're at. They're making money. Uh, they have a culture that brings in a lot of income. Uh, they pay their stockholders. The rest goes into their pocket. They're very, very happy with where they're at. But as on passive comes into the marketplace, when, when Ash releases the product to the global market, it's a whole different dynamic. Because of what Ash has done, because he's brought value to the table, because he thinks about the customers before he thinks about the revenues, and, and we come in and we introduce our products to the customers throughout the world, 
These customers are going to flock into on passive. And the companies that are out there doing business today with a totally different dynamic, with a totally different uh, uh, focus on, on, on where they're at in their, in, their, uh, in their company, they're going to look at on passive and they're going to be happy until they're not, until they see on passive. And when that happens, it's too late because of the culture in these companies. They can't turn on a dime. They can't come and compete with Unpassive. It's, it's almost impossible for them to do anything about what's happening to them because of Unpassive. And it's because of the way Mr. Mufara has structured Unpassive. Value, value, value. We don't worry about the money. And if you, if you notice Mr. Mufara, he doesn't talk about the money. Why? Why doesn't he talk about the money? Because he knows what's coming. Because we're, we're a value-oriented company. Because we look at the customer first. We want to give the customer the best that they've ever had and even better than that. And these other companies, they might want to compete with Unpassive, but they can't. They have to take care of their, their, their shareholders. They have to, they have to give their, keep their shareholders uh, happy and they can't change that culture in that company. They can't turn on a dime. They have to bring in profits and profits and profits. And value is a second is is a second best with these companies. They don't think about value as much as they do about volume. They might try and tweak their products a little bit to make them a little bit better for the customer. That's not what Unpassive does. Unpassive has tremendous value. And when these companies see Unpassive doing what they're doing, it's over. They can't compete. And when Collins or, 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 or Bob or Oliver or Vincent talk about being so many years ahead of our competitions, three, five, ten years ahead of the competitions, it's because of the, the structure of Unpassive. It's because of what Mr. Mufara has done. It's because of the whole impetus of Unpassive. And when you think about this, th this is such a it's a tremendous it's a tremendous concept to understand. And Col Collins hit it out of the park. These companies are happy until they're not. And when they're not, it's too late. Unpassive is so far ahead of them, they can never catch, catch up. And Marty says it very, very well too. These companies will never be number one. They will be fighting for, be, they will be fighting to be number two. It, it, it's as simple as that. It really is. And when you think about Unpassive being, on, uh, Unpassive empowering each and every one of us, if you understand the simple concept that Colin used, you're there. You're going to wake up extremely happy. And and think about this. <clears throat> if you knew you were about ready to collect an inheritance, let's say it's $10 million, and that inheritance was coming in the next 60, you know, 30, 60 days, somewhere in there, wouldn't that empower you? Knowing that you would never have to worry about finances again, you would never have to worry about money again. You could just concentrate on your life, on, on your personal life, your family, your community, those things. Uh, it would relieve all the anxieties that you have financially. They just wouldn't be there anymore. You would wake up with a, with an additional step in your step. I mean, you'd have that hop. You'd be hopping around all the time. That is on passive. That's what's coming to us in the very, very near future. And if you've been, if you've been listening to, to Ash Mufar, and he's been on, he's on every week now, and he's sharing so many things with us, you know, we have a green light, guys. <laughs> we, and, and, and if you, if you think that on passive isn't acting as quickly as they should be, you're just wrong. We are at breakneck speed right now. So as you think about being empowered, your tank is going to be filled. Your pockets are going to be filled. Those apples are going to start rolling in. And over time, I believe each and every one of us, one of us those individuals participating with on passive, will be empowered, empowered financially. You're going to be able to live the life you want to live. That's a really, really good thing. And then as you think about it, you do what you can do. If you can give, you give. And you continue to give until you can't. That is on passive. That is Ash Mufara. That is the way he structured this whole company. And as we look at on passive and what it's going to be doing for each and every one of us, I don't think that time will ever come where you say, I can't give because I don't have enough here. I don't have enough here. Uh, the tank just isn't, just isn't filled. In time, each and every one of us are going to be in that place. You do not worry about finances. I believe that wholeheartedly. 
So when you think about on passive empowering each and every one of us, keep that simple concept that that uh, um, Colin shared with us. These companies are happy until they're not. And there's going to be a lot of unhappy companies as we go into the product launch to the global market. So I wanted to come on and, and just share that with you all. We are there, guys. Uh, we're there. You don't need to worry about it. Start waking up the way you should in a very, very good, good mood. The days will go so much better for you, and they'll go quicker for you. Uh, we don't have that much longer to wait, and it's just going to be here. It's just going to happen. Ashwood Fire is just going to roll it out there. And it's going to be a fun, fun time for everybody. So that's it for today, guys. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I always recommend you go down there and subscribe. Click the bell on the right. And as we do more videos, you'll get notifications. We're putting up a lot of content on this on this YouTube channel right now. Not only my stuff, but things that come from, from Marty and Red and, and Chris and, and Lynn and, and Julie and, and many, many, many other founders that are sharing uh, uh, things about on passive today that, that you really do need to know. So go ahead, click the button and you'll get notifications as we put that content up there. And from there, start waking up happy guys. I, I wake up every day and it's a great day. I have to tell you, it's just a great day. And, and it's for a lot of reasons. And one of the reasons is on passive and what Mr. Mafara has done for each and every one of us empowering us. So that's it for today, guys. Have a, uh, have a great weekend and, uh, We'll chat next week and just, just have a great week. Take care. Bye.